Welcome to the Raven Quick Start Guide. For In this video, we will walk you through configuring the hardware and the software for your Ravens. Let's begin. In the box, you'll find the Raven touchscreen, revitalizer spray with microfiber cloth, a power supply, a HDMI cable, a USB cable, a Quick Start Guide, and a software voucher to download the software. To connect the Raven to the computer, first plug in the USB cable, HDMI cable, and power supply into the Raven. Next, take the HDMI cable and plug it directly into the HDMI port of the graphics card. Then, take the USB cable and plug it directly into a USB port of the computer. Do not use an unpowered USB hub as the touch panel of the Raven is powered completely by the USB bus of the computer. We recommend purchasing a powered USB hub. This will be sure the touch panels have enough power to operate smoothly. If using dual Ravens, and the computer does not have another HDMI port on the graphics card, users may need to purchase a HDMI to display port adapter. Plug the HDMI from the Raven into the adapter and the display port directly into the graphics card of the computer. Then take the USB from the second Raven and plug it directly into a USB port of the computer. If there's not enough USB ports on the computer, users should buy a powered USB hub to ensure that the Raven touch panels have enough power to run smoothly. Some graphics cards may not have enough ports to connect multiple displays to. However, there are adapters that convert HDMI to USB, but we do not recommend using a USB to HDMI converter as this may cause latency and other graphical issues. If the computer does not have enough ports to run multiple displays, Users may need to purchase an additional graphics card. To power on the Raven, push the top button on the back right of the Raven panel. If the Raven has power, users will notice a green light on the front. If this light turns orange, that means there is a problem with the connection in the graphics card of the computer. To adjust the contrast and brightness of the Raven, use the menu button on the bottom of the panel and the upper down arrows to navigate the submenus. Now that the Raven is connected and powered on, we will need to configure the software setup portion. Welcome to the Raven Quick Start 